But when FPL came back to turn power back on is when all the things happened, started blowing up the appliances, I think, from the surging. People all over Southwest Florida are seeing power surges ever since Hurricane Milton, and it's becoming a costly problem. Thanks for watching NBC2. I'm Christy Soto. And I'm Peter Bush. NBC2 Samantha Romero is local along St. Andrews Circle in Fort Myers, speaking with people who lost most of their appliances. And I took out of the wall. Oh, wow. And I, when I took it, I could feel it melting. It's been more than two weeks since Hurricane Milton made landfall in Florida. That was scary. The hurricane may be gone, but its effects are not. It just doesn't work. Tonight, most of Donna Porter's appliances are fried. She can't even wash the dishes or heat up a meal in the oven. Multi-plug outlets burned and melted. This one sparked up Friday night. It really smelled. It still smells bad. The culprit could be power surges. Some of our customers are still experiencing power outages. FPL says power surges are common after hurricanes. Severe weather can damage power lines and electrical equipment, breaking the flow of electricity. So when the power does come back on, electric utility companies say you can see a sudden jump in currents. When FPL came back to turn power back on is when all the things happened, started blowing up the appliances, I think, from the surging. A reality Donna's neighbor knows too well. I probably lost 10, 10 major appliances. Their transformer blew. Their wires were damaged. Debbie just got power yesterday, but they have each other's backs. They made me breakfast. They brought me hot coffee. They plugged in my stuff because people across the street had power. So they took, we take good care of each other here. Local in Fort Myers, Samantha Romero, NBC2.